Hey guys, tonight's R word is basically uh, diagnostic. So what you're trying to do is choose one of these two movements. The first movement's the most aggressive one and it's the most challenging one. So give it a try, if you can't do it, that's cool. Then try the next one. And I'll show you the next one in a sec. The first one is basically a squat test. So you gotta sit in the bottom of your squat. You can hold on to something to do it, a door frame, whatever you got, you just hang. You're not doing anything, you're just hanging. You know, I'm gonna stay here for five minutes, then I'll show you the next one. So that what you're trying to do here is just release the hips and use as a diagnostic to see what is sticky when you're down here. Like where does it start burning? Where is the places that it's tight? You might not be able to get down here because of your knees. If you get to here, that's okay. Just hang there. If you get to here, that's okay. And you can see a step back here, maybe. Hang on a sec. Let's tilt it down a bit. You see a step here. You can also put your feet on the step and just hang in the squat there. See, I can do that for easily five minutes. So that's a minute down. I'm gonna go to, yeah, five minutes. You don't need to know the details. But yeah, just hanging out. So one way is holding off the pole. That's the first version. And you just use that to guide you and then op over time you open yourself up and you can stand up. The other way is to do it with your heels propped up like I am and work your way down to smaller um, heel drops. So you can use weight plates to get the same effect and get down. See that's really low for me and I'm struggling to try and keep that there. I can try just wiggle my way into it. Breathe in, breathe out. Also like, use a weight, a kettlebell, just hold yourself against it so you can hold yourself up. But just breathing into it. So you're in this squat position, trying to find space, trying to open up the range of motion. But don't go to pain. Stay away from pain. So that there, this is a little bit too much for me. You don't want it to be super aggressive. You want it to be manageable. So if I go there, that's manageable for me. I can sit here for ages. Hang off the pole, I can hang off the pole for ages. Do the one that's manageable. We've got two more minutes or two and a half minutes left. It's comfy. You can stretch one lat out and stretch the other lat out. Just get a diagnostic. You're basically just trying to figure out what's stiff, what's, what's tight. If I'm tight through the front of this shin here. Not so much this shim. I'm tight in the left glute from all the work I've done this week, but my right glute's not doing anything. It's not picking up the slack. So start feeling out what your body's doing. Use it like a meditation. Like a meditation when you work through your body, you breathe into your feet, you breathe into your knees, you try and find where the stiffness is and try and release it. Same here. You try and find the stiffness, stiffness and release it. So you will feel a burning sensation in your shins doing this one. You will in the next one too. But yeah, it's a good diagnostic. If you've got nothing, like if you've got no tools or anything at all to do foam rolling and stuff with, just do this. Just hang out in the bottom of the squat. You can't really go wrong with it. The, bit, the more you do it, the deeper range you'll get. Now, if you've got sore knees, remember to put something there to stop yourself going super deep or just hang here. And then work your way down. Let it find its own way in there, but never go into the painful spot. If it gets too painful sitting in the bottom, come out, shake it out. Go back down again and get back in the hole. Got a minute left of this one and I'll show you the next one. So we're gonna start doing these little diagnostic tests. So we're gonna do a test from now on before the R word. So we're gonna test whatever it is we're trying to release. Test the range of motion. Do the activations and do the releases and do the foam rolling that we're doing and then retest and did it get better? If you got better, it's a good movement for you. Keep doing that to try and open it up. If it didn't get better, that doesn't mean it was a bad thing that you did. It just means that it wasn't effective for opening that range of motion. So we just need to try something else. Almost done with this one. Look a bit more presentable. I've got a haircut today. Don't look like a homeless person anymore. Five seconds. Hey Dawn, if you're still watching. Hey Grace. All right, moving over to the mats. 
This next one's a bit gnarly as well. They're all a bit gnarly. So I'm just gonna get set up. I'm gonna use this. So, you need a pillow for this one, because you need to find that range of motion where it's comfortable. So basically what you're doing is here, you're just sitting back. Two versions, toes dug in and you're just sitting there for five minutes and see what happens. The other version, toes flat and you're sitting here for five minutes. I'm gonna do toes flat because I need to stretch out my toes, stuff like that. If you can't sit your heel to your bum, this is what the bag's for, or a pillow. Put that there and sit there. And then bring, open the range of motion up over time. The other way to do it, like for me, with my really poor range of motion in my ankles, is you put the pillow there and sit here. And then gradually take away the height of the pillow at the front. So this is another diagnostic. What you're trying to find is, can you stay in this position for 10 minutes is the goal. We're only gonna do it for five minutes now. For 10 minutes, can you stay in the position for 10 minutes? So you start playing around. This is, these are called resting poses. The deep squats are resting pose. You should be able to stay in there for 10 minutes and be okay. Not saying like, that's a target, it's a goal. Getting towards the goal is gonna be the, is the prize. You're gonna have wins on the way there. If you don't get all the way there, it doesn't matter. You're still doing a lot of positive work. And same with this one. Like, that is stretching like crazy through my shins, which is just gonna help me with all the trail running and stuff I've gotta do. And just mobilizing the feet. Well, my feet are terrible just from soccer. So, this stuff is good. Staying in these positions, watching TV, that's the time to do it. Find somewhere you can hold onto a door frame and watch a show from ad break to ad break. It might be 10 minutes, I don't know anymore. But yeah, try and get through the whole ad break. But this one, yeah, I'm just getting a wicked stretch, just hanging out, waiting for a mate. Whatever is the thing that's knocking you around, if it's your, if your calves and ankle range of motion is terrible, dig your toes in and try and sit back there and try and get more range of motion. So work your way back into your feet to try and open them up. 30 seconds left. So there's two tools. You got the squat, the deep squat, 10 minute test, five minute test, whatever you can fit in. Just do it and assess yourself. Where are you feeling tight? Where are you feeling stiff? Where can't you get the range of motion? And then do the, the sit test, the kneeling sit test. Toes dug in, toes flat, see which one feels better. You wanna be comfortable, you don't wanna feel uncomfortable doing it, so make sure you stay comfortable. And yeah, have at it. Uh, we're done, a little bit early for a Friday. Lots going on. I'll share it all with you later, but the re-energize challenge starts on Monday. Get better sleep challenge. Sign up, get into it. If you're in the group, you're in. Let's take you out because of reasons, and I'll tell you all about that later. See ya.